Did you know that SpaceX is in the middle of a significant legal battle that could potentially sideline its Starship operations in Texas? SpaceX has found itself embroiled in a lawsuit launched by environmental and cultural heritage nonprofits aimed at the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA. FAA is an agency under the Department of Transportation. Its primary role is to regulate civil aviation within the United States to ensure the safety and efficiency of air travel. This includes managing U.S. airspace and regulating commercial space transportation, a role that brings it into interaction with companies like SpaceX. This lawsuit is demanding that the FAA conduct a meticulous environmental impact statement, a process that, if enforced, could halt SpaceX's Starship activities in Texas for a considerable duration. This development undoubtedly presents a challenging predicament for SpaceX and its key program, Starship. It's important to note that SpaceX has already been grappling with the extensive challenge of recovering and repairing the infrastructure damaged during the 20th of April Starship launch test. The combination of ongoing repair work, operational adjustments, and financial implications due to the failed tests has put SpaceX in a difficult spot. And now, this environmental lawsuit heaps even more complexity onto an already strained situation. The company, however, is not planning to let this issue stall its progress and is preparing to address the challenge head on. So, what possible implications could this lawsuit have on the Starship program? And how is SpaceX planning to overcome this obstacle? This lawsuit contends that the FAA should have performed a comprehensive environmental review concerning SpaceX's potential impacts prior to granting Starship launch permission. This lawsuit claims that the FAA did not sufficiently address potential repercussions on endangered species and their habitats, as well as indigenous tribes that hold the land and wildlife in high regard. In its filing, SpaceX outlines the possible consequences if the environmental groups are victorious in the lawsuit, emphasizing the potential adverse effects on the company's operations and financial stability. The company also argues that the FAA, as a regulatory body with public interests at heart, cannot fully represent SpaceX's private interests. SpaceX asserts that if the lawsuit is successful, it could significantly disrupt national interests, Additionally, it could hinder the scientific progress linked to the Starship program. The Starship program is not just another rocket development venture. It's a project that could revolutionize space travel and exploration as we know it. The Starship Super Heavy launch system is a fully reusable spacecraft that could significantly cut the cost of space exploration while increasing the size of payloads that can be delivered into space. In fact, due to its impressive capacity, Starship could economically transport large telescopes, hefty scientific experiments, and even humans to orbit, and perhaps further to moons and other planets. It's worth mentioning that NASA has selected Starship as the vehicle of choice for its lunar lander in the upcoming Artemis program. Since receiving approval from the FAA, SpaceX has invested over $3 billion into the Boca Chica launch facility and the Starship launch system. This facility now hosts significant infrastructure installations that have been operational for several years, including a vertical launch area and a control center. For those of us who follow SpaceX developments closely, it's somewhat unexpected to see SpaceX and the FAA on the same side in this case. As many of you may remember, there have been several instances where they've clashed on a range of issues. In fact, the FAA has previously sued and fined SpaceX for violating launch licenses. A notable example occurred in December 2020, when SpaceX launched its SN8 Starship prototype without obtaining the necessary flight approval from the FAA. This test flight, despite ending in a fiery crash, was seen as a significant step forward in the development of the Starship system. However, the FAA deemed it a violation of SpaceX's launch license. The incident resulted in a probe by the FAA and led to delays in subsequent Starship test flights. Then, in early 2021, SpaceX and the FAA had a public spat over the launch of the SN9 prototype. The launch was initially halted by the FAA due to SpaceX's failure to demonstrate public safety compliance, stemming from the SN8 incident. Eventually, the company resolved the FAA's safety concerns and was granted permission to launch. In both cases, fines were levied and SpaceX was mandated to conduct a comprehensive review of their safety culture. Despite these clashes in the current lawsuit, the FAA stands alongside SpaceX. 
the ultimate fate of this legal battle remains uncertain. It's important to note that SpaceX has lined up a series of contracts for future missions utilizing the Starship. Notably, these include a significant contract from NASA, as well as private contracts for crewed missions around the Moon and potentially to Mars. A delay in the Starship program could cause SpaceX to fail to meet these contractual obligations, leading to potential financial and reputational damages. This also could jeopardize NASA's plans for returning to the Moon and the long-term goal of establishing a sustainable human presence on Mars. As of 2023, SpaceX has been performing exceptionally well, particularly with its Falcon 9 rocket. Remarkably, SpaceX has recently celebrated a landmark achievement, the successful execution of 200 consecutive Falcon 9 launches. This achievement is a testament to the reliability and prowess of SpaceX's engineering. This unfolding legal development, however, undoubtedly presents a formidable predicament for SpaceX, especially for its paramount program, Starship. In the coming months, SpaceX is planning another Starship test flight, this time featuring the upgraded Booster 9 in partnership with Starship Ship 25. Despite Ship 25 not having some upgrades seen in other ships, the focus of this test is largely on the first stage flight with the booster. Pad modifications are currently underway to prevent the kind of damage experienced during the maiden launch, and testing should commence soon after completion. The primary objective of this upcoming test is to perfect the first stage ascent and staging with the ship, without causing major pad damage. This is yet another exciting step forward in SpaceX's mission to revolutionize space exploration through the Starship program. The legal troubles facing the Starship program, therefore, have potential implications not just for SpaceX's immediate future, but for its long-term goals as well. That's it for today's video. Please leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates on SpaceX and other exciting developments in space exploration.